Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. I wanted to talk about the Jesse Smollett case and some of the idiotic comments by Amanda Seals. Now, Amanda Seals goes on a talk show and she says that what Jesse Smollett did was noble. She says his race hoax, where he pretended that he was attacked by Trump supporters was a noble cause. And she said the reason why it was a noble cause so she can make Trump supporters look racist. It, it, it's completely ridiculous. This is what people need to realize. Every time somebody falsely accuses somebody of racism, it hurts the fight against racism. This is why I don't like race baiters. Race baiters are making it harder to fight against racism. Now, every time a black person experiences racism, people are gonna say, you're just pulling another Jesse Smollett. You're just doing what Jesse Smollett did. This is why race baiting hurts the fight against racism. Falsely accusing someone of racism is similar to falsely accusing somebody of rape. Every time a woman falsely accuses somebody of rape, it makes it harder on women who are real victims of rape. It's the same thing with racism. When somebody falsely accuses somebody of racism, it makes it harder on people who are real victims of racism. But every time I try to explain this to these woke Twitter activists, it goes right over their head and they continue their race baiting bullshit. Now, Jesse Smollett was one of these woke Twitter Hollywood actors. He went on Twitter every day last year. Before this case happened, he was on Twitter every day calling everybody a racist. Any person that disagreed with him, he would call them a racist. And he wanted, to peop he wanted the media to look at him as a hero. He wanted the leftist media to look at him as a hero. And this is why he did this race hoax. He paid two of his bodyguards to pretend to be Trump supporters. He told them to wear red hats and put a noose around his neck. And once it was found out that it was a hoax, that's when he got, that's when he got charged. And he only got he only got off the first time because of Kim Fox. Kim Fox is friends with his family. She's a prosecutor in Chicago. And she's the one that dropped the charges against him. But once they found out it was a conflict of interest, this is the reason why he's being charged and indicted again. But this time is going to go to trial and he's going to get convicted. I don't think he's going to serve time in prison. He's probably going to get community service. He's probably going to get a big fine. But at the end of the day, this hurts the fight against racism. This is why a lot of younger people need to stop doing this. There's a lot of younger people who are on Twitter, who are on social media, who will do anything to get attention who will do anything to get that clout. And this is exactly what Jesse Smollett was doing. So if, if we're gonna fight against racism, we need to talk about real racism. Jesse Smollett wanted, he wanted people to believe that all Trump supporters are white supremacists and racists. And this is the reason why he did this. Now, I'm not a Trump supporter. I didn't vote for Donald Trump. But Donald Trump is not a racist. And most of his supporters are not racist. I've seen black Trump supporters all over the place. Everywhere I go, I see a black person wearing a Trump hat. So when Jesse Smollett says he was walking down the street in Chicago in the middle of the night, it's... 30 below zero 
and he says he was he was attacked by a bunch of redneck Trump supporters, and they tied a noose around his neck. As soon as I heard this story, I knew it was bullshit. I knew it was bullshit as soon as I first heard it. Any person that believed this story is a very gullible, naive person. He's calling himself the gay Tupac. And one of the things I notice about feminists like Amanda Seals is she, she's only going to defend gay black men. She's not going to defend any straight black men but because she's called Kobe Bryant a rapist. She's one of these feminists on social media calling Kobe Bryant a rapist. So she's only she's one of these feminists that will only defend black men who are gay. She looks at heterosexual straight black men as the devil. If you're a straight black man, you're 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 the worst. She's not going to defend you. She's only going to defend you if you're part of the alphabet community. So Amanda Seals is full of shit. Jesse Smollett is full of shit. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe.